Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Try Tower of Time. So, let's continue where we left off. There are still some interesting mechanics waiting to be unlocked. Looking forward to that. Meanwhile, let's go see what's across this bridge. Maybe something we can fight? There are still the two enemies over here, but we'll fight them a little bit later. I'm hoping to find some more gear, maybe. Oh, that looks familiar. The statue. Maybe we should turn back. And go fight these two guys. Yeah, I think so. Because going this way will progress the story. Alright, I'm going to run back and fight the two enemies on the other side. Alright, so over here. Let's see how this goes. I'm actually quite curious how tough these two are going to be. Alright, let's get started. Combat stats. Yes, I'm aware. When you hover the cursor over the enemy or the champion, you can see their base stats and current stats. If you have trouble dealing with certain enemies, you can look at their stats and adjust your strategy. Uh, hold on, what was that? Auras. Auras are a very important aspect of combat. Certain skills project an aura around the caster, marked by a yellow outline. All enemies or champions in range are affected, either positively or negatively. Multiple auras stack. This is indicated by the blue circles below their character. In this case, two auras are stacked. If you let the enemies stack their auras, they could become very difficult to deal with. In such case, focus fire on one or try to separate them. Okay, interesting. Draw skills. Draw skills offer unparalleled flexibility in combat. At the moment, you only have one. Right, I remember this part. That's not new. Combat summary is not new either. Alright, so just the auras were new over here. Well, this should be interesting. Okay. So, let's dash. Here you go, and we'll use fire arrows. Or, actually, we can use arrow barrage. With the blind effect. Yep, that could be useful. Well... Wait, what? That's interesting. Oh, maybe we could separate them. We could do something... No, that's not going to work. I don't think I can cancel this either. Uh, no, I can. I was thinking about separating them with a wall, but that's not going to work from the looks of it. Alright, fair enough. Let's use fire arrows this time. Alright, guys. Don't die. <laughs> oh, where do you think you're going? Hey, come back here. There, he's down. Well, that was easier than I thought it would be. Okay, more. Dash is up. So let's use dash, shall we? And we can use blind again. Doesn't look like it will even be necessary. Yeah, they are going down pretty quickly. Oh, now we'll have to fight all four at once, I think. Yep, looks that way. That could be interesting. Alright. Let's try to take them down quickly. We could do something like this. And then back up. Here, yep, that actually works. I like that. Well, we can just attack from range. Alright, off you go. Dash is up. We got this. Any more enemies? Nope, we are done. We got a crossbow. Okay. And some gold. Let's see if we got anything else. An undead giant clad in heavy plate, a spirit of the dead draining our life. What madness is this? 
Perhaps they are restless spirits of the times past. Stay calm, Maev. Your fire arrows proved useful here. Those things do not like fire. We should remember that. Alright, so let's see if there's anything we can pick up. There's some gold. Okay. Quartermaster. We should investigate. Yes, yes, we should. The door's open. Just a collapsed stairwell. I can't make out the bottom, but I see a faint light below. Too bad the space is too narrow for us. Maybe those skeletons crawled up from down there. What if the level below is swarming with them? Hardly a worry. I doubt their weapons can penetrate my armor. <laughs> In case you didn't notice, I'm not wearing any of your fancy shield guard plate. My life before my comrades, always. The third virtue of a king's champion. You should know me better than that by now, by any of... Okay, so we can't go down. Anything else we can do around here? There was a gate on the left side. But we can't open it. Yep, we can't open it. And it doesn't look like there's a way to open it. Oh, hold on. We can do something. Well, that might or might not be the solution. This statue is different from the others, alright? Well, let's see if we can open that gate then, shall we? Maybe turn them towards the little brother? There we go. That will open the gate. Let's see what we can get in here. What's this? A ring. Nice. One mastery. 0 0.1 mana regeneration. And 10 mana points. Alright. Oh, and the crossbow. We should probably equip the crossbow. Is that an upgrade? It actually is not an upgrade. Ours is better. Alright. We will obviously use the ring. And that's that. Now we can move on. Reach the throne. Yep. I don't think there's anything else to do here. Alright. Let's go to the throne then. And here we are. Well, almost. We just need to go downstairs. Well, we know these guys. Unbelievable. Look at this creature. Forged of stone and crystal. He never mentioned meeting this all those years ago. Perhaps it is one of those Sanctum Guardians. I don't like the look of it. Let's find another way around. There's no time for sticking around in shadows. We are on official business. This creature will yield or face my sword. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it will, buddy. I'm sure it will. A little bit of gold. Don't tell me we'll have to fight them. <laughs> Probably not. I don't know. The creature appears heavily damaged with large portions of its stone surface chipped away and fractured portions of crystal, pulsating with bright purple light. Turning its head towards your champions, the creature emits strange, high-pitched sounds, slowly at first, then with increasing frequency. I think it's trying to talk. I wonder if... The creature suddenly shifts position, raising its giant arms as if to strike. It would seem we're not welcome in this place. Alright, if it won't let us pass to the crystal throne without a fight, then a fight it will receive. With this much damage, one hit of my sword should shatter it, whatever it is. Less talking, more shattering. I'm right behind you. And please, spare me the lecture on tactics this time. Alright. So we will have to find them after all? Maybe? Yeah, I guess so. Alright. Damaged Guardian. A thing made of stone and crystals is blocking the way. Let's see if there are any nasty surprises <laughs> waiting for us. Well, it is damaged. Boss health, 60%. So that's technically the first boss then. 
right. Oh, hi. Now that is a surprise. We should probably target that guy first, maybe? Well, it has a lot less health, obviously. So how about we kill that one first? Go on, then. Here, now it's down. That didn't take long. And we take care of the Guardian. Move and attack is actually fine. No need to use stand ground stance. Here comes another one. How's health? Like 10%? 20%? We don't have arrow barrage available. And it is targeting us. There. That's better. Unfortunately, the healing skill is just a self-heal. What did we get? An axe. That looks pretty good. Not sure what this is. A crystal? Of some kind? Maev? Right here. I'm okay. That was a close one. My sword is less effective against those things than I expected. Maybe you could ask my lord to part with his fire sword. An elemental weapon. Excellent idea. Though doubtful he would relinquish such a fine weapon. Okay, well then, let's check out the axe. It is an upgrade. A significant upgrade, though. I will most certainly use it. That does look quite nice. So, let's move on. The throne is right here, and also a little bit of gold. There's the map. So, there's the throne. The path to the throne is clear. We must tell the Lord at once. Well, here we are. The Crystal Throne. So many times it appeared in my dreams as a child. Though I have no justification for it, I feel as if I reunited with an old friend. You feel a strange compulsion, the urge you felt all those years ago, drawing you to the throne. You hesitate for a moment. Resisting the pull is far easier than you remember. Then sit with swift determination. A jolt of energy rushes through your body, overwhelming all your senses at once. Sight, hearing, smell, touch, even the taste in your mouth seems a hundred times more sensitive. As the feeling subsides, you realize with awe, you are no longer limited to the senses of your own body. You can see, hear and feel as each of your champions sees, hears and feels. Are you alright? Yes, yes, I just need a moment, Kane, Maev. Though I have no explanation, I can see through your eyes. I can even hear myself speak through your ears. Magic, are you sure it's to be trusted? To speak plainly, I am not. But a great power resides in this place. I always suspected this and now, sitting atop this throne, I know for certainty. I am pulled towards it, to a place somewhere very deep beneath us. If it is here, we will find it. Just give the command. Hold on a second, Kay. Can you tell us anything more about what this power is? And what we can expect to find below in our search for it? Unfortunately, I cannot. I'm filled with a feeling, nothing more. A sense we are running out of time and that the power in this place is our best and last hope. As to what lies below, this is as far as my childhood journey brought me. Whatever you encounter below will be as much a mystery to me as it is to you. The command is given, my old friend, but before you go, I have something for you. Kane, take this. I found it many years ago, in a ruined city. It has served me well, but will serve you better now. Okay, oh, the sword. The sword or chest plate of elemental resistance. Let's take this sword. As for you, Maiev, this heirloom has been in my family for many generations. 
it saved me more times than I can recall. Put it to good use and bring it back when you no longer need it. Ring of health regeneration, amulet of mana regeneration. Let's take health regeneration. There are the stairs that lead below. Everything is at stake. We can't fail. Go now and look after each other. Alright, well, there are the stairs. So I'll take that. Is there anything else around here? Probably not, but let's take a look anyway. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else in this room. We just have to go down then. Oh, no, there is a little bit of gold. I'll take that. And more gold. Not a lot, but hey, better than nothing. Is that it? I think that's it. So, let's equip the items, shall we? There's the sword. It's actually not better than the axe. Yeah, well, not really. It does have a crit chance bonus and magic penetration. I think I'm going to keep the axe, actually. It is a two-handed weapon and the sword is one-handed, but we don't have a shield or anything like that. So we'll keep using the two-hander until we find a shield. There's always the white one, the default one, but that one is not very good. We'll wait until we find the proper shield. As for the ring, Maiev can use it, because we can't actually heal her. And we'll give the master a ring to our tank. Here. Looks reasonable. Let's move on then. It's only down from here. <laughs> yeah. This statue is unlike the others. It has very fine features and seems so lifelike you expect it to leap from the pedestal at any moment. An engraving at the bottom reads, First Magus Proteus. I feel as if living eyes are set upon us, watching our every move. You mean by the statue? I feel it too. He's pointing towards the stairs. Perhaps we should not disappoint him, shall we? Alright, well, down we go. I wonder when we'll get more party members. I guess we'll find out. Smiling. What's the matter, Kay? A little too much pheasant and ale last night. You look a little out of breath. I counted almost 1000 steps. A simple task in light letters. Next time you wear my armor, bear my shield and carry my hefty blade and I'll carry your little bow. Then we'll see who's making jokes at the bottom. Thanks, but your armor wouldn't fit me. And I'm afraid a lady's bow needs a delicate touch. Thanks for the offer, shield guard. As soon as you are ready then, our grand adventure awaits. Yes, yes it does. So here's the teleport. Before your party stands another teleportation mechanism, identical to the one seen above. This one, however, glows with blue light. Okay. Welcome to the tower. A teleporter which links to the one we saw earlier above, yet reads below. How strange. Okay. <laughs> that was before we had to descend all those steps. Alright then. Fast travel. You can fast travel between locations using teleporters. Blah blah blah. Yeah, I figured as much. Return to the city. To return to the city now, click the city icon located at the top of the screen. If you have enough gold, you can train your champions in the barracks. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know if we have enough gold. There's a little bit of extra gold around here. So let's maybe pick that up. And then we can use the teleporter. What's going on? 
Oh, hi. Your champions are startled by the sudden appearance of a strange hooded woman with metallic wings. Blue light shines from her eyes and crystals embedded throughout her body. A trail of blue particles lingers in her wake as she moves. Greetings, travelers. Who, who are you? I am the Tower Avatar. And what exactly is that? I am aware of all things that transpire here. I can feel your footsteps fall upon the stone floors. I can hear your voices echo through the halls. I am the tower's eyes, ears, mouth and hands. What it needs, I provide. What I need, it provides. We are one and the same. So you see and hear everything we do here. That's just creepy. My creators were powerful magi. They first constructed my body, the tower itself and later crafted my mind. They gave me the power to assume this form so that I might defend myself. Then you are a guard, duty bound to protect these halls. Well met, Avatar. Be at ease, we mean you no harm. My name is Kane, and this is Maev. You do not have the power to harm me, but I appreciate the intentions, Kane. Tell me, why are you here? What do you seek in my tower? We are here to reach the lower depths of this mysterious structure and learn how and why it has appeared within our lands. So be it, I will not stop you. Explore this level as you wish, but be warned, a strange power has awakened all the spirits here, the dead roam restlessly through my halls. We have already encountered them above, are there a lot more of them down here? Yes, they are many and becoming more difficult to contain with each passing day. All right, so I see more gold over there. Let's go pick it up, shall we? And then we can return to the city. That looks fancy. Fountains. Fountains are scattered across the tower. If one of your champions decides to drink, his or her statistics will change. The effect can be either positive or negative. Looking at the fountain, is a good indication what kind of effect you can expect. Each fountain has a predefined effect, not random. Okay. Well, let's use it then. The water in this fountain has unknown magic properties. Let's use it on our tank. Health has increased, all right. Well, that's a good thing. Hello there. We already met. It was a gamble to drink from this fountain. Your bravery or foolhardiness has paid off, but you should be careful next time. Some relics you encounter may have undesirable effects once you use them. Noted. She is watching us from the shadows. I don't like it. She is the guardian of this tower. It is her duty. Be content that she means us no harm. There's a chest over here. Some load. I will most certainly take that. Those pipes installed in the wall draw the underground water and channel it to the fountain. At least we have plenty of drinking water down here. Alright. I don't want to go too far just yet, I'm just checking the general surroundings. More gold. All right, so we got 244 gold. Make that 253. Let's use the teleporter. And we can return to the city. Let's see what we can do. Okay, tower, keep, library, barracks, blacksmith and armory. All right. So there's the keep. We can check our characters here. Library, quests, story, barracks. Can we get anyone new? No, not really, at least not yet. But we can train. 200 gold to train. What else can we do? Blacksmith? Not available yet, never mind. Armory. Blueprint needed to upgrade. All right. Well, we can train for 200. I guess we might as well do that. 
It's not like we can do anything else. Plus 15 health, plus 7 mana, plus 3 attribute points, plus 4 skill points. Alright, sure, let's do that. And we can spend the points. So, plus 1 mastery, plus 2 life. Okay. Then, skill points. We can get level 2 skills now, since we are level 2. Let's see. Mana cost plus 10, damage plus 20. Party healing, 40. Okay. So we can make the heal work on the entire party, or we can give it additional regeneration per second. What about the stone wall? Right, nothing new here for level 2. Let's get a party heal. I have a feeling that will be more useful than a stronger single target heal. So there it is. And we can still pick this up. We might as well. More damage with dash. And I think that will be it. Yep, that's it. Back to the tower we go. Entrance, 0%. <laughs> yeah, alright. Level progress. Main quests, side quests, blueprints, enchant scrolls, 14 battles, 2 secret rooms, and 22 chests. Alright. I'm quite liking this game so far. So, where do we go? We'll check everything. More gold. Golden tree. And a chest. Some stairs. Skeletons at the table. <laughs> what? Playing cards. That's pretty funny. Alright. Digging site. Orange frog. More gold. And another chest. Oh, we got a shield. So now we can use that sword. Let's do that then. Here. What about the crossbows? Yeah, these are both downgrades. But we don't have the amulet. Health and mana regeneration. We'll use that on the tank for now. Is this a dead end? No? Or is it? No, it is a dead end. Alright. Can we do anything about the digging site? Not really. Back we go then. Looks like there's a fight right here. Something is guarding the way. Let's take a look then. Alright, let's fight. We can test our new gear. Sounds good to me. Alright, where are they? They haven't arrived yet. Here they come. So we'll dodge them. Like this. They are quite squishy, so no problem whatsoever. But more are coming. Let's stay back here, shall we? Now we could use a wall to block the way. Here. And now it will turn back and go the other way. I think he's confused about life. Well, now he's coming. 
Might as well target him. That was pretty nasty right there. Might want to heal ourselves. Yeah, we definitely need to heal ourselves. Alright, hold on. You can heal yourself. And the party. We'll use fire arrows. And we can use dash. Dash seems to do decent damage. Well, especially since we upgraded it. More incoming. Okay, this might get a little bit dangerous. Yeah, he lost a little bit too much health there. <laughs> we do have arrow barrage. Let's back up slightly. We got 13 seconds. On the hill. Just don't die on me. 7 seconds. I think he will be fine. 3 seconds. Might be a little bit close. Here, now he can heal himself. There we go. That was a bit too close. That's the last one. We got some boats and gold. Let's have a look. All elemental resistance, health points and critical chance. Well, resist will be more useful for our tank right now. And health points as well. So here you go. Maybe we should check the other corridor first. This seems to lead deeper in. Let's check the other corridor real quick. This way. So much dead. At least these skeletons aren't the reason. These bones are caked in dust and look brittle. Whatever happened here took place a very long time ago. Suddenly, a strong gust of wind from the far end of this room washes over your champions. Can you hear it? I could swear I hear a whisper carried by this wind. It is too faint to identify. Ah, perhaps it is just my imagination. No, Kane, I hear it too. This place is eerie. Too much like walking through one of those ruined cities in the night. Well, there's definitely something in here. Let's go check it out. Yeah, these skeletons look a little bit creepy. <laughs> He's sitting at the table, reading a journal. Alright. People lived in this place. Almost 900 years ago. It must be authentic, though. I haven't seen anyone refer to the calendar with initials since I was a child. After all, no one remembers exactly what it stood for. I've heard a half dozen different meanings. We have lost so much, even the proper passage of time eludes us. We should look for more notes like this. If we get an understanding of this place, we might find out the whereabouts of any valuables. Mind your duty, High Courier. I thought you left your past behind once you joined King's Guard. History. I meant valuable information, I swear. Uh-huh, I'm sure you did. Just looking around. So what is this all about? What's this? A key? Your champions find an ornately shaped piece of metal. Upon closer examination, they discover it to be a key split in half. Master craftsmanship. You should find its twin and the lock it fits. We shall. This looks fancy. As your heroes approach the statue, they are struck by its sublime craftsmanship. Warm to the touch and vibrating, it feels as if something lies hidden within. Something of significant power. That's a stern-looking highborn if I ever saw one. I bet he was really wealthy. Perhaps it is one of the great spirits worshipped by the ancients. Look, there's an inscription here. To those who would seek the bone of Sindros, three things are required. The need must be dire, the purpose true, and the supplicant must speak his name. Okay.
Well, you know what I think about touching magical statues. Go on, lay your hands on it and say his name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who seeks the aid of Sindros? I have taken many souls since I was last addressed by a mortal. Where is thy offering? Offering? Figures, there's always a price to pay. Here, I suppose I can lose one of my rings. Place it at the foot of the statue and see what happens. Angry. You dare to defile my sanctity with your trinkets? Such things are meaningless. The dead have no need for riches. The dead are the reason you're doing. I am not dead, child. I am dead. Do not worry. You will know me for what I am. All mortals of this world will know the everlasting embrace of Sintros one day. As for those reasons, they are an affront to me as well. What is rightfully mine has been ripped away. Blasphemy. Bring me a living thing as your offering, and I will give you a bone in return. Okay. I guess we'll be coming back later. Dead? What madness is this? I've dealt with a lot of shady characters in my time, but entering a pact with a spirit claiming to be dead? There's not enough ale left in all of Artara to convince me of that. You are right, Maev. But then again, we are on our own down here, and his offer to help us get rid of the reason appears genuine. I think we should make use of whatever help we can get. Sindros asked for a living thing. I'm not sacrificing an innocent animal or person to this statue. Of course not. But perhaps you think too big. Perhaps anything will do. A mouse or small insect might do the trick. Great. Now we're chasing dungeon vermin. Let's look around. But I leave the catching to you. So, quest log updated. Find a living thing. We got some more loot. Alright, this is a dead end. So, let's go in the other direction. Through this crappy wooden bridge. It doesn't fill me with confidence. More loot. We got a hat. I don't think we have one yet. Oh, we can't actually use this. Wrong item for this class. For both classes, in fact. Alright, fair enough. Let's move on then. More gold. Farewell note. Okay. Nothing to fight so far. Even more gold. Oh, golden tree. Yeah, shame we can't take it. <laughs> Convert it into gold. Oh, there we go. Another fight. Alright, well, let's fight them then, shall we? Yes, engage. Let's get started then. I'm not going to use dash just yet. But we will activate fire arrows. Okay, one down. Oh, they are coming from the other direction. Now might be a good moment to use dash, but it does have a 30 second cooldown. So I don't want to waste it for nothing. We can move out of the way when needed, and we can also move out of line of sight, like this. Now we can charge them with dash, so here you go. I am slowly getting the hang of this, oh, we got another one coming. Uh, hold on, let's maybe change to stand ground for a moment. I don't want them to move around. At least not yet. Now, we could use the wall to block the way. I don't think that's going to be necessary. That skeleton on the left will die pretty quickly. Yep, he's going down. Bye-bye. Now we can use the heal. That will heal the entire party. Not much of a party just yet. And dash. 
And Arles. Are we done? Enemies defeated, 76%, so we are not done. Yep, here they come. Or one of them at least. Fire arrows. I think we pretty much got this. Two more. Dash is almost ready. Bye bye. 92%. One more coming from the left. We pretty much win. There, 100. Give me some good load. We got some pants. Alright. We'll put them on, obviously. <laughs> Here, you got pants now. You happy? Maybe that's why he was so grumpy. And we found a teleport. So this is a good moment to make a cut. I'm going to continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.